Hi. Hi. We're two drunk girls. I'm Lauren. And I'm Jen. And we are here today Woo! drinking, we spiked some tea. Cheers to the spiked tea with our Boru vodka, which we've been enjoying lately. We keep ours in the freezer because it keeps it nice and chilly. It's a nice refreshing spring drink. Happy spring. Happy spring. And it's almost like tea time, so it's acceptable. Afternoon tea. Mm -hmm. Iced with vodka. Yummy. Spiked and iced. So when we say something we find to be quite, I don't know, entertaining or, you know, intelligent, we will ding. And then you drink your spiked iced tea along with us. If you're 21 and over. Yes. Please. Ooh. That's it. Ooh, look. That's breaking. We, ding we dinged that too hard too uh -oh. many times. You, don't, you guys don't even know what's happening we up there. We have said a lot of amazing things. We have. It must be it. So today we're talking to you about March Madness. Yay! Yay! You know, we're so excited about March Madness. You know why? You know why? why? You know why? Because There's you can meet men. There's so many boys. There's so many. Guys. This so is like boys. even more extreme than, than the one, Super yes. Bowl. Because this goes on for, for three entire, straight weeks. The entire month of March. Yes. Actually, it might even go past March. Does it? Uh, it might. Ooh, I'm not sure. I don't know. But it's like for weeks on end. Weeks bars on end. with boys. So this bars is what boys. we need to tell you to do. So, um... First of all, if you may be saying to yourself, like, I don't even care about college basketball. What are you even talking about with this March Madness nonsense? I don't care. Well, you should because here are some things. Do you like drinking? If you do, you should care because yep. you could go to the bar. Right. Check. I do. Huh. Check. Uh. Um, do you like hanging out with people that are fun? Check. Cool. Um, then, do you like food? Check. Great. Well, then put yourself in a bar where they're playing March Madness games and you will meet men. You will. Just go. Do it. Be it's in the place. Happen. And it's going to happen. But we have some tips for you because you can't just show up like no. totally unprepared. No. We will guide you through this process. So we think you should definitely not overdress when you go to these. Like don't no. wear your like I'm going to Vegas dress. No. Okay. Definitely don't. You are going to a bar and there are sporting people there with mm -hmm. like their jerseys on. You need to look low key. Yeah. Breezy. Breezy. Don't look like you tried too hard. No. Just to go watch a game. Yeah. Um... Look in the general direction of the TV because you're there for that game, at least you're pretending to be. So pick look a team, at the TV. Pick a team and root for them. And also don't throw out terms. If you're not sure, when in doubt, just zip it. Don't be that girl that's like, did they just hit a home run? And it's a basketball game. Like, that just makes you look dumb. Less is more. Less is more. Keep it simple, stupid. Yes. Kiss. You may even kiss somebody at the end of the game. If you want to cheer for the team that they're going for, just, you know, join in the camaraderie. And I think that, are there any other tips? Uh, just the general terminology, which I think you actually okay. know. The general term, I didn't want to cut you off, but the general terminology that. is, I'm just going to kind of give it to you as quickly as I can. I know a thing or two about sports. I'm not going to say I know like everything, but this is kind of how it works. So this is um, college basketball playoffs. Some of the teams make it by playing. Some teams get selected. There, it comes down, it starts out with a bunch. It gets down to the Sweet 16 the Elite Eight, the Final Four, and then the the end championship game. Um, there are such stories like Cinderella stories. That's like when a team that wasn't favored comes out and beats another one and knocks them out of the bracket. Those are little terms that you should know. That's it. That's it in a nutshell, guys. In a nutshell. And I'm going to predict right now, I'm making a prediction, that Kentucky and Duke make it to the Final Two and Kentucky wins the entire thing. Well, I hope that you're right. I'll Me be too. there. I don't know what I'm going to get if I'm right, but whatever. You get, you know, just bragging rights, really, and you can tell everybody about it. And Bye -bye. also, Lauren Lee Nelly, since you gave up meeting men for Lent. I did. I'm just going to support you. Yeah. I'm I, going, I gave best, up best caring friend. about getting a boyfriend for Lent. So also what you should do when you go to these bars is you should make sure you have a friend with you. Bring a girl, bring a cute girl, sit your ass down in a seat, root for a team, and meet some men. Be approachable. Don't forget to smile. Even if you're confused and have no idea what's going on and people are screaming in your ears. See what I'm doing smile. here? She's just... See? You're happy because you know what? It's a game and it's and all in good fun. Yeah. And it is fun, actually. It, it is. is fun to root. It is. Okay. All right, then. Well, guys, don't forget to like this video, comment, share it with a friend, subscribe to our channel. Also, follow us on Vine, yeah, please. Yeah, we've got some now, fun new videos. We are dancing up a storm and you will see us actually out on the town. Well, Not just talking to you, but... Living life. We'll find some March Madness for you. Yeah, we will. Hope your bracket is doing well for you, and we we will see you. We'll update you at the end of March Madness. See yeah, we bye. will. Alrighty. Bye, kids. Bye. Have fun. Bye.